Meanwhile, new here tonight, researchers at Johns Hopkins University believe that they have found a new way to help keep COVID patients out of the hospital. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tonight with this treatment and why it may come at the perfect time. Plasma transfusion is nothing new. In fact, the process happens every day in hospitals around the world. The indication for standard plasma is, is, is primarily to treat um, bleeding, whereas the, the role of convalescent plasma is to treat infectious diseases. Which is why researchers put convalescent plasma to the test in June of 2020 to see if it could help keep COVID patients out of the hospital. In November of 2021, a month after the clinical trial wrapped up, researchers say it works. It can be deployed rapidly, including in times of emergency with, with new emerging infectious diseases. And the infrastructure for collection is already present in low and middle income countries. A lot of the countries in the world can deploy this and use it. Dr. Evan Block, an associate professor of pathology at Johns Hopkins University, says that's good because those are areas that may not have access to vaccines or monoclonal antibody treatments. Nearly all of the 1,181 participants in the trial weren't vaccinated. Basically, half were given the convalescent plasma, the other half a placebo. The plasma was taken from former COVID patients who recovered from the virus and had strong antibodies. Researchers say 2.9% of the patients who received the plasma had to go to the hospital. That number was 6.3% for the group that got the placebo, which they say reduced the need for hospitalization by more than 54%. We know we can reduce hospitalizations transfusing up to nine days. And they think it can keep up with mutations like Omicron. It's more durable or adaptive than some of the targeted therapies such as monoclonal antibodies where we've witnessed this diminished efficacy with, with viral evolution. More research is needed to see what happens when the plasma is taken from folks who are vaccinated, but researchers believe it could be even more effective. The FDA is currently reviewing the therapy. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.